What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news, some more news concerning Jake, the problem child, Paul. Get this. Jake Paul reignites John's fury and his feud. He's saying, you're making Tommy worse. There's no love lost between Jake and John Fury as the American heads into a fight with the Brit's son. And Paul, who was built or has built up a 6-0 record against mostly retired MMA fighters, told Sports Mail that he was improving faster than his opponent due to John's influence or lack of. And he said this, he said, I'm getting 33% better each day because I've only been boxing three years. I am increasing exponentially, whereas Tommy's done it for 12 years. So how much can his skill level really improve? He's really stuck in his ways of how he is as a boxer, especially when his dad is training him. He's worked with other trainers who are way better, but his dad is actually hindering him and making him worse of a fighter. Those are the words of Jake Paul and let me counterpunch. Talking about sticking it in and breaking it off. Look, at one point, you know, we even had John Fury saying he actually likes Jake Paul. He likes what he does, whatever the hell that means, you know, but then we've also heard him say that, hey, Tommy's been fracturing skulls and sparring and knocking guys spark out. So guess what? You've been warned and you are next, right? So I think Jake Paul is repaying the favor. And I I just look at Jake Paul somewhat of a very um, engaging guy, okay? He likes to engage with any type of per person or, or statement or opinion that he feels that is coming his way and he will address it right away. Absolutely. You know, but then here's the question. Is he right? What can John Fury really teach Tommy Fury? You know, he wasn't a really good fighter, but then again, here's the deal. Here is the quote and the credo and the saying, just because you were a good fighter, don't make you a good trainer. Vice versa, just because you weren't a good fighter, doesn't mean it couldn't make you a good trainer because you can win. A, you can learn a lot from someone that has been hit by probably everyone or has done or been in there and made a lot of mistakes. They are there to make sure you don't make those mistakes. So it could be a good thing for Tommy Fury. Absolutely. You know, but to say Tommy Fury isn't improving, I really haven't seen much of Tommy Fury, um, you know, to really make that decision. But, you know, as far as John goes, I'll tell you guys this. If Jake Paul knocks out Tommy Fury, it's going to make everything he said put under a magnifying glass because then people are really going to pay attention to what Jake Paul said. And this is going to be one of those things that stick out the elephant in the room. Well, who the hell trained Tommy Fury? You know how it is. People like to ju judge and, 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 and blame trainers for their defeat. So guess what? John Fury will be the blame, right? It does not look good for the Fury family because it's almost like a two for one uh, a dinner special. He's getting and getting to knock out Tommy Fury, Fury at the same time he gets to basically shut down the credibility of the father as a trainer. OK, because he's like, hey, look, he's a bad trainer. So now John Fury has to make Tommy Fury live up to the idea that he is training him well and he is a good fighter. And how do you do that? You go in there, you kick ass. Plain and simple. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Jake Paul counterpunching, blasting John Fury, saying that he's useless, he's not teaching his son any, anything, and that's why he's going to lose versus me and my trainers. We're training and we're learning every day. So, we will see when that fight comes. You guys, again, tell me what you think about Jake Paul's comments towards John Fury. Is he a good trainer or is he a dosa? You guys tell me. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.